At the other end of the sophistication steel from the cool and fixed model is the spiral model. The spiral model is a risk-oriented life cycle model that breaks up a software project up into many projects. Each mini project addresses one or more major risks until all the major risks have been addressed. The concept of risk is broadly defined in this context and it can refer to poorly understood requirements, poorly understood architecture, po potential performance problems, problems in the online technology and so on. Uh, after the major risks have all been addressed, the spiral model terminates as a uh, waterfall life cycle model would. Now, this, this figure illustrates the spiral model, which some people refer to affectionately as the cinnamon roll. Um, it is a complicated diagram, and it's worth studying. The basic idea behind the diagram is that you start on a small scale, in the middle of the spine. You are going to explore the risks, make a plan to handle the risks, and then commit to an approach for the next iteration. Each iteration moves your project to a larger scale. You roll up one layer of the cinnamon roll. <coughs> Check to be sure that it's what you wanted and then you begin work on the next layer. Okay, each iteration involves the six steps shown in bold on the outer edges of the spiral. The first step is you have to determine the objectives, alternatives and constraints. Then you move on to identifying and resolving risks. You evaluate the alternatives you then develop the deliverables for that iteration and verify that they are correct. You then plan the next iteration and finally you commit to an approach for the next iteration. Well, that's if you decide to have one, of course. Um, in the spiral model, early iterations are the cheapest. You spend less in developing the co concept of operation than you do developing the requirements and less developing the requirements than you do developing the design, implementing the product, and testing it. Uh, don't take the diagram more literally than it's meant to be taken. It isn't important that you have exactly four loops around the spiral and it isn't important that you perform the six steps exactly as indicated, although that's usually a good order to use. Um, you could tailor each iteration of the spiral to suit the needs of your projects. <coughs> you can combine a model with other lifecycle models in a couple different ways. Um, you can begin your project with a series of risk reduction iterations. After you've reduced risks to an acceptable level, you can conclude the development effort with a waterfall life cycle or other non-risk based life cycle. You can incorporate other life cycle models as iterations within the spiral model. For example, if one of your risks is that you're not sure that your performance targets are achievable, you might include, say, a prototyping iteration to investigate whether you can meet the targets. One of the most important advantages of the spiral model is that as costs increase, risks increase, sorry, decrease. Uh, the more time and money you spend, the less risk you're taking, which is exactly what you want on a rapid development project. Um, the, the, the spiral model provides at least as much management control as the traditional waterfall model. You have the checkpoints at the end of each iteration because each <coughs> because the model is risk oriented it provides you with early indications of any insurmountable risks if the project can't be done for technical or other reasons you'll find out early and it won't have to cost you as much um, the only disadvantage of the spiral model is that it's complicated it requires conscientious attentive and knowledgeable management uh, it can be difficult to define objective verifiable milestones that indicate whether you're ready to add the next layer to the cinnamon roll. In some cases, the product development is straightforward enough and project risks are modest enough that you don't need the flexibility and risk management provided by spiral model. Well, that's it on the spiral model. See you next time.